All right, this is a quick video to help um, David in the forums who's asked um, how can I make this um, bullet list so he can change the icons to how he would like them. So I'm going to show you one way that you can do that. Um, this is the way I'd probably do it. There's probably other ways as well. So I'm going to show you how to make this and hopefully this can help you um, with what you're after. So what we're going to do is start with a blank canvas and delete this block. And I'm going to rebuild with a one column block in the center just for this example. And I'm going to use the list brick. Dump that in there. With the list brick selected, I'm going to change the number of items we've got here to one. And there's a reason for that. I'm not going to have any um, icon styles or anything like that. I'm just keeping it plain. What we're going to do is add two divs into this one list item. Now, it can be tricky to try and stack another one in there. So what I tend to do is to duplicate and uh, drag around till I get what I want. <laughs> so what we have now is we've got two divs within one list item. So that first div is going to have an icon in it. And our second div is going to have paragraph text right now it's not looking very exciting just now is it so what we want to do is we're going to add um, a couple of classes one for the overall list item and then we're going to add a class to each of the containers the div containers setting their width so the, for this first one we're going to create a class called my list you can call it whatever you like and uh, my list we're going to give a width of 100 percent so it's like an overall wrapper around that list item. And then also on that list item, I'm also going to add another class called D-Flex. D-Flex. And then all we need to do is set um, some widths for each of the divs within, the, um, within that flex element. So the first one here that's got the icon, I'm just going to call that row-icon. And that's not quite right. We'll call that column because it's a column, column icon. And I'm going to set the width to on this one to 10%. And then the next div, I'm going to give it a name of column text. And I'm going to give it a width of 90%. And then I can change the icon that I'm after which is that one and now we have our first list item and then all we need to do is duplicate the list items for as many items as we want right that's basically it um, hopefully that helps with your question uh, let me know if you've got any problems with that